Welcome to Prescott Shooting's Simulator Game Day to Post It Pool Farm. Today is the glorious 12th. Obviously today we're celebrating the first day of the game shooting season. I'm just going to take you through a little bit about the safety of today. Obviously we are in a, in a game shooting environment, we're not on a clay ground at all, so exactly the same game shooting rules apply. Keep your, the barrels um, plenty up in the air, we don't want to see obviously barrels pointing too much out in front, even though it is a grouse day. Um, we are allowing you to shoot crosses out in front, um, out below, but please keep safety in mind. The main issue is keeping those guns from not crossing over the tops of the butts. Please keep in between the poles, um, as obviously they're there for a reason. Regarding um, eye and ear protection, highly recommend your eye protection, especially today. We can't guarantee where all the, all the bits of the clays and the clays actually go. Same with ears, obviously ear protection is, is uh, compulsory on every single drive. We have got some caps available to you. Please take one. We obviously um, caps, and we don't want any bits of clay landing on your heads. Right. Okay. What we've got, we need a volunteer from each of the pairs. Um, if you see on the bonnet of the VW, there is a little dram of whiskey to get you warmed up for today. Um, to obviously select your peg numbers. Um, so if you'd like to take one each no, of the pairs. Right, if everyone would like to uh, load into the cars, we're going to make a, make a move up onto the first drive. This first drive of the Grouse Butts, um, brilliant views out to the right, you'll see the whole, whole of the valley down to Winchcombe. Um, some fantastic scenery, you almost think you're on, on actually a Grouse Moor. As we go up there, um, I'll obviously give you a few pointers, some landmarks around. As we can see, we are one of the highest points um, around the area, so you can okay. see a long, long distance um, right across some Cotswold villages. All their kit. Yep. Everyone got their gun? <laughs> it has happened. <laughs> Good. Moving on to the targets, and we're going to expect on the first drive some pretty much straight driven large flushes of grouse. We are using Batu clays, um, very, very fast clays, so they'll be literally simulating the speed of grouse coming in covers and pairs as well. They'll be spread right over the a whole, whole uh, line of butts, so everyone there isn't going to be a, a, a very quiet peg at all, all day, so expect to. Uh, make sure those barrels are pretty hot and make sure you've got the gloves if you're shooting side by sides. Again we're having a nice drive around the actual estate. Again fantastic views, we're still right on top of the, of the, of the valley and down to the left you'll see right across the Suley Castle and as we drive down We'll park up, get all the equipment ready to go, all the cartridges, and we'll wander onto the, onto the next drive. The targets to expect on the second drive are um, completely and utterly different. The environment you'll be shooting in is completely different, different from the first drive. The topography is different. The targets that you'll be expecting to see, simulating the grouse coming from different angles um, and, all, again, different speeds. We expect to see a lot of crosses, um, both left and right-handed. A lot of long out driven, driven grouse, which you'll see coming from a long distance out in front of you compared to the first drive. And also you will see some special clays that will be coming out and you'll know when you've actually hit one. We'll leave it at that. Also mixed in the bag as well. So again, an, another drive, a different sort of twist on, on, on the grouse more. After that drive, we'll then wander back to the vehicles. We'll then supply you with adequate champagne, obviously to celebrate this glorious 12th day. Obviously, meet around the vehicles. We have sausages, champagne. There's also a, a full selection of, of drinks as well. And what we'll do after 11s is we'll probably stop 20 minutes, half an hour. After that, we'll again, we'll load back up into the vehicles and then drive back through another valley. Again, 
a lovely Cotswold scenery. Wouldn't think you're in the Cotswolds. The very, very strange topography that we're blessed with up here. Um, completely different from anywhere else. Um, it's very, very moorlandy feel. Lots of gauze, thickets around. Um, it looks right up onto Cleve Common. It's a very moorlandy feel. Um, again, we'll be driving straight past the grouse butts just to take the position just round the corner of, of the drive. We'll then get out and obviously get the kit back together again. Once all, all our kits are ready, we'll wander back onto the grouse butts. Um, on this drive, again, a completely different uh, topography again. Expect completely different targets. Again, on this drive, out in front, not a lot of vision out in front. You'll get clays coming on top of you fairly rapidly. Consistency wise, the number of clays you'll see actually coming over it will be pretty much doubled from the drive before. So very, very large covers of clays and they constantly keep coming all the time. Again, a mixture of different types of clays in that drive as well, so expect to see that, that also. The very unique um, feature to this drive is we can replicate um, exactly what you can do on a, on a grouse drive is shooting behind the grouse butts. Obviously when the beaters do come in close, obviously the whistle or horn will go, all the shooting has to then come out the back of the grouse butts. So you'll get a chance to replicate that. We head back down to lunch, there's a two course lunch, roughly just about an hour, hour and a half. After lunch we'll then come back just past the main house onto the, onto the final drive. Another completely and utterly unique, different drive, completely different topography from all the rest that are shot in the morning. Very big variation on crosses, quartering in birds, all sorts. You literally all the angles you shot in the day, you have completely access to them all. We actually simulate pretty much from covers, single birds, long, long crosses. Actually, very, very low crosses that come in across the moor out in front of all all the actual butts. They'll stretch from literally one end of the butts right the way to the other. And again, obviously you are allowed to shoot those low crosses out in front, even though it doesn't seem very natural. But uh, again, a completely different drive. There will be again some special clays. They will, you, as I say, you will know when, when you actually hit them. Some of them are col coloured orange, so you will be able to slightly make, make out them coming through the line. But uh, there are some special ones in there that you will not know whether they're coming over or not. But uh, again, very, very different drive on, on all, all aspects. We'll meet back in the main house for traditional cream teas and refreshments, and obviously a time to unwind. It was a long day shooting and plenty of cartridges been disposed of. Firstly, thank you very much. You've been a pleasure to have all of today. Um, really great team of guns and I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. By the look of you, you've got big yeah, smiles on your faces. Um, right, I'm just going to do the prizes. Um, there was a couple of flash clays that actually got shot today. Um, there's actually 35 that went over. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so the very first one um, was Maria. Showed all you gents up. <laughs> Very well shot. <laughs> All right, there we go.